Hi, my name is Gavin Ward and I'm the Consultancy Director for Bay Consultants and we're here today with the Country Trust to talk to the farmer and a group of school children about our exciting research into soil ecoacoustics where we're developing a new technique for listening to the noises under our feet to see if it gives us a new way to manage the soil and how we manage our land and also track biodiversity. Morning everybody, hope you had a lovely morning. We are a group of ecologists and we spend our lives doing what you're doing today, standing in fields, looking for animals, looking for plants, sitting out for birds. And if you listen really carefully, you can hear a skylark just over your heads. And the reason I'm here today is we've also been looking for worms. We've learnt that under our feet, in the soil, are all the worms, all the beetles, and all the millipedes, and all the little creepy crawlies that you've seen today. And we listen to the noises that the animals make, and we're learning about how different animals make different noises, and then we're listening to see whether different soils sound differently, and then maybe we can help the farmers, and the gardeners, and maybe your parents at home, to make their grass happier, or their trees happier, make their flower beds better. So we're looking to develop this new way of listening to soils. So what we've got is we've got a recording box down here in this little bag and a special microphone that doesn't listen to the noise in the air, it listens to vibrations in the stick. So we're going to put the stick in the ground and then as the worms and the millipedes and the beetles crawl around in the mud, they move the soils about and it listens to the vibrations from that sound and then it comes down the cable into the magic box and then out in the headphones. It's loud, isn't it? Right. How about you guys? What can you hear? I can hear kind of like crunching. Any crunching? It, it feels like crunchy and squelchy. Does it? What's it sound like? Like a creak noise. A creak, yes, or some whooshing noises. We're having a party down there. Can you hear that crackling a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. So one of the there reasons we we've developed this technology is to help farmers manage their land and we're hoping to use it as a way to supplement digging worm pits and doing manual trials and taking soil samples away for analysis. And the aim is that we learn how complex the sounds are. This technology would be really helpful to us as farmers um, because at the moment looking at soil invertebrates is quite time consuming. But if we have a tool that will help us potentially give us a database of what invertebrates, what levels of invertebrates should be like in a healthy soil and a not so healthy soil, then that's a good starting point for us and it's another tool that we can use to help us assess the, the health of our soils. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to give people probes and they can monitor their um, allotments or their vegetable patches so they can listen to their soil, see how healthy it is and decide if they need to add extra organic matter. One of the areas that we're starting to realise is it not only true that a healthy soil is a noisy soil, but above ground the same thing also applies. So we are finding that really healthy, biodiversity rich sites have a much more complex soundscape the more sound you hear, the better. The more complex the noise is means there's a more active food web and the ecosystem has lots of different tiers to it. And that's a really good sign that the, the habitat you have is doing really well. All of these noises were recorded under the ground using the little metal spike that you saw Frida put in the soil earlier, okay? So I'll play this first one for you. That noise. Little crunches. Does anybody recognise any sounds from what you listened to earlier? And this is ants. All their little feet tippy tapping away under the ground, making loads and loads of noise. This next one, hopefully, you'll recognise. Can you hear that? It is a worm. And what do you think it's doing? That's right, and how do you think he's moving? Is he doing this on the top? It's been fantastic having the children out um, today on the farm. They've had a wonderful time getting their hands in the soil and getting dirty, and as farmers, that's really important for us to show the children how we look after our soils. Uh, and they've had a great time. They got dirty, so can't ask for much more. <laughs>